everyone, I'm back, and today I'll be taking a look at the little, uh, freaking demon guy known as Mohawk, and, oh, known as Mohawk. Known as Mohawk. Come on, stand, stand, stand. Come on. Misha, you want an early dinner? <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> Uh, this guy is the first ever Mohawk figure that I know of, and, uh, he captures the likeliness of him very well, with the weird stringy-ass chicken legs and the green and apparently white patch, I don't remember that. The one thing that angers me about this, the one frickin' thing... The head, the mohawk is not green. That's one thing that angers me. Also, that and the uh, wheels aren't the proper way, but it's a core class. Not much you can expect. I got this guy from my uh, uh, local game. Stop. He was only the only one there. I I usually know how rare some figures are. For example, um uh who is it? Cosmos is like probably the rarest Velocitron figure and Skylinks was rare at launch and uh who else? Uh Bumblebee was a bit hard to track down, but, like, not super hard. Uh, yeah. But, let's take a look at his detail closely. He has, a some nice chest detail. Like, not the paint, like, the actual, uh, design of it. Is that painted? One sec, I'm, uh, I'll put something else in the frame for now. Uh, ah. I think that might be painted. Oh my god, it's painted. I didn't actually realize this part of his chest was painted. Well, it, it looks painted at least. It might just be shiny plastic, but... Yeah. Um, his arms are also pretty good. Uh, same with these. And, uh, the head it looks very accurate, too. Don't worry, I'll cover his, uh, mouth in the articulation segment. And, uh, his legs is really long, stringy, freaking chicken legs that he shares with Megatron and the Lord Demon. Something just died, but it's fine. Uh, oh, I just noticed these uh, weird things here. I'm not going in to these because those are part of the alt uh, the alt mode part. But yeah, so for the detail of the figure, I'll give it honestly. For what he is, how small he's supposed to be, I'm honestly going to give it a 2. Like, it's pretty much perfect, except for one little thing and the weird uh, things, but it's a core. I'll excuse it, because they don't really have the uh, greatest of engineering. Some of them do. Rat Trap does, but he getting broke. He broke. Misha, you hear that? He broke. Uh, yeah. Now for the articulation segment. Just have to make sure articulation is next. I have my, uh, my review plan on another, like, uh, slide on my phone. 
so I don't have to go to another app. I just press on the uh, three lines. I'm on a uh, Samsung, so it may look different from iOS, but on my phone, there's three lines at the bottom. There's like an arrow, a square, and three lines. I press on that, and I don't actually go to like the actual thing. I just click on that, and then I see what's next. So articulation is next, but yeah. Now let's get on with the arms. The arms, uh, here, let me just move these out of the way. The arms go like that. Okay. Uh, let me move this back up real quickly. Uh, all the way around, well, almost. If these aren't here, they would go all the way around. Uh, elbows go up like this due to transformation. And, uh, there is elbow, uh, swivel. Uh, the head goes all the way around, and... You may have heard that. I'm pretty sure someone either almost got into an accident... Or they did a burnout. Interesting. The two reviews I did in about, I want to say two weeks, had something involving a car. But anyway, uh, the mouth opens up. And the neck, due to transformation, goes all the way back. God, that looks painful. Especially right now, since I lifted, like, probably over a hundred pounds of cinder blocks. Uh, legs go all the way up, all the way back, and these go like that, and then all the way back. Same thing on the other leg, of course. And the feet, uh, pretty much unlimited because it's a ball joint. So, again... I'm going to give the articulation for how small this figure is and what it's supposed to be. Uh, 2 out of 2, so that is about a 4 now. And now, once I have to stop it to check on the note I was talking Okay, now for size. Uh, I'm not doing anything crazy, I'm only doing my cores. Uh... Here he is, next to Legacy Iguanish. And he is bigger. Brucey is actually one of the biggest core classes, like, ever. And here is core class Spike. I must say Daniel, but Spike. And he is tiny. So yeah, for being one of the tallest cores, like, ever, and for him to scale pretty well with, uh, the modern deluxes, I'm not really sure about the old ones. Uh, by modern standards, I'd give him also a 2 out of 2, so that is about a 6 now. Oh, one thing I forgot to, uh... Talk about he's he comes with a knife. Yeah, but yeah, a little knife. Not gonna lie, I'm pretty sure he just has shiny plastic. Maybe some parts are painted, but hmm. I don't know, I'll have to figure that out once I finish filming everything. Okay. I had to check, make sure what's next, and it is transformation. And here is his combat motorcycle. I'm not sure what make, but combat combat motorcycle uh, alt mode. 
it is very chunky. I don't remember exactly how it looked like in the movie, but again, it's a core. And for what it is, for what it did, like, I don't think anyone could actually sit on this. I mean, like, they would be up here, and then, and then the handlebars are right there, and yeah, but... Like, this looks accurate for uh, what it is. And uh, the weapon, I'm pretty sure. Where where does the weapon go? I forgot where the weapon goes. Does it go in here? No, does it? Where does, where does the weapon go? Oh, no, I, I, f I forgot where the weapon goes. I haven't used the weapon storage in a while because I've, I haven't transformed him in a while, but... Uh, yeah. The weapon goes somewhere. I just forgot where. But, uh, one sec. I have to, uh, stop again to, uh, do a, uh, vehicle mode comparison. But, for the vehicle mode, honestly, 1.5 out of, uh, 2. So that is 7, 7.5, yeah. Oh, the transformation itself also, uh, to be honest, it's a two. It was a very good transformation to go through. Like, it wasn't, nothing collided with each other that much. It was pretty straightforward. So, yeah, that is nine out of, uh, 9.5, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Oops. And just for some quick vehicle comparisons, here is with uh, Iguanas, who cannot stand up, but I uh, found a way to make him stand up. There he is with Iguanas, and here he is with uh, Spike, his mangled up body that is probably uh, broken to shit. Because bodies aren't supposed to transform. Well, at least ours aren't. But, uh, yeah. It's funny. He's huge. Sorry, I forgot I forgot I zoomed in that much. My hand is massive. But here he is in uh, his bike mode. He is small as shit. And he is massive. Like, there is mass forming going on right there. But... Yeah. Now, I know you're probably thinking, Oh, Hayden, you forgot about the the whole big uh, feature on him. Nope, I did not. He is now joining the Headless Gang. And now, finally, yeah, that looks so weird. <laughs> Wait, I wonder if I can just like ah, no. Oh, I want. Oh, wait a second. I'm gonna put his head back on. I just want to um. <laughs> <laughs> what did I just do? What the hell? Ah, uh, feel free, feel free to screenshot that. Oh my god. 
anyway, that has, uh, that has been my review for Studio Series Core Class Mohawk. See you in the next one, and, uh, I think I might know who that might be. See ya!